Okay, we're going to use the double lacrosse balls to stretch your upper spine, your thoracic spine. So it's two lacrosse balls taped together. What you're going to do is you're going to sit, you're going to place them, your spine in the middle of the balls. Start about at the bottom of your ribs on your back, so it's about there. You're going to sit back. Take a breath in, and then I cross my arms over and just lay back. You might hear some cracks in your spine as you do this. It's totally normal, don't worry about that. What you're going to do is you're just going to do just some little movements up and down, some mini crunches. You're just going to work side to side. And then you're just going to roll along to the next vertebrae. So just move yourself down slightly, sit back. Nice crack there. Just go side to side. You could try laying back and lifting your legs, pushing down through your abs all the time. Be careful if you're not very flexible that you're not taking the stretch off by sticking your belly out. So if you do that and you're at your back and stick your belly out, there's actually no pressure on the balls. So you're going to work down, you're going to work all the way up your back. Sit back, crack. Oh, I get a lot of cracks doing this. You just tend to pull your t-shirt up and get stuck. Between the shoulder blades especially, you want to work side to side to get into the muscles underneath your shoulder blades. And once you get up near the top knee, upper traps, just reach your arms overhead. Sit your head back on the floor. You're just going to take your arms overhead. Don't worry if you can't get all the way to the floor, just get where you can get to, you can do one side at a time, just stretching through, just working up and down. So these are great for increasing thoracic extension, thoracic extension will allow you to get a good position overhead. After doing the double lacrosse balls on your spine, it's a good idea to do some rotations. Now doing rotation really opens up the thoracic spine and allows it to extend tends to extend and rotate together. So we're going to go on all fours, knees on the floor, hands on the floor. I'm going to have a nice flat back. I'm going to cross one arm over and hold my shoulder. So I've got my right arm on my left shoulder. I'm just going to reach around with my elbow and my head. And I'm going to stretch up with my elbow and my head. I'm not doing it from my lower back, I'm doing it from my shoulder and from my eyes. Up, stretch down, reach round, stretch up, your lower body shouldn't move, your back should stay flat, down, stretch it out, really driving through my shoulder, so left shoulder down, left shoulder up and around. Okay, we're going to stretch through your chest, which will help with your overhead position, and your rack position. So we're going to go into a press-up position on the floor. So hands by your sides. Lay on the floor. From there, I'm going to do the right side first. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push through the right arm whilst pushing the left shoulder down to rotate around. So pushing the left shoulder down, pushing up through the right hand. So I'm just looking up a little bit. I can feel that stretching through the left side of my chest. Get a nice deep stretch in there. Just hold it. Relax. Just going to again. So I'll do it the other way. It's important that you keep the elbow in. So I'm going to go to the left. And as I do, I'm going to keep my right elbow in. So that right shoulder's pushing down. Right elbow's in. Locking up, reaching around. If I do that, it takes a stretch off. So keep your hand flat, shoulder down, and elbow in. Reaching around. Hold for 20 seconds. Do each side two to three times. Again, it's an active stretch. You're pushing into it. Doesn't really do much if you just sort of hang about there. You've always got to be pushing in as hard as you can. Okay, we're gonna work on the area underneath your arm, so your lat, where it meets your rotator cuff, and a bunch of other muscles that all attach around here. This is the overhead position. You be able to get your arm behind your head and your right position, be able to get your elbow up. So, two options. We've got the lacrosse ball, which 
my preferred option, or the foam roller. So, lacrosse ball first. You're going to lay on your side. You're going to put the ball in your la in your armpit, basically. You're going to lay on it. Arms up over my head. Weights down into the ball. Try and pull the arm up behind your head and rotate it out. And you're just going to work up and down through that muscle. It's quite an uncomfortable on this. This is even uncomfortable for me. And I'm not tight. So it'll be very uncomfortable if you are tight in here. Just working through, changing the angle a bit. Look around. Work falls backwards a little bit. You're looking for your tight spots. You're looking for where it hurts. You're looking to find a clump of scar tissue to work on, to release off. You can also use the foam roller, same idea. Lay on it on your side. This, because it lifts you off the ground a lot, what you want to do is you want to lift your arm up and behind your head and just roll it through again. And forwards and backwards. I prefer the ball because it's more pinpoint. The roller does work as well. And you can sort of side bend over it. Go through. Just working through different motions, looking for where it hurts, looking for where you can feel it.